The Battle of Stalingrad, one of the most significant and deadliest battles of World War II, lasted from July 17, 1942, to February 2, 1943. Fought between the Soviet Red Army and the German Wehrmacht, the battle marked a turning point on the Eastern Front and had a profound impact on the course of the war. Following successful German offensives on the Eastern Front in 1941, Nazi Germany began advancing towards Soviet territory. However, after several victorious campaigns, the German advance slowed down. Hitler's decision to attack Stalingrad, a major industrial city on the Volga River, held strategic importance as the city was a key to controlling southern resources and communications. The Battle of Stalingrad is part of the broader context of World War II and the struggle between the Allied forces and Nazi Germany on the Eastern Front. Here are several key points that contributed to the background of this significant battle. After the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941, known as Operation Barbarossa, German forces rapidly advanced and occupied large portions of territory. Hitler aimed to acquire resources and Eastern European territories, but the German offensive was hindered by the resistance of the Red Army and harsh winter conditions. The city of Stalingrad, modern-day Volgograd, was located on the Volga River and was crucial for controlling southern resources and communications. The city was a hub of industry, trade, and transportation. Hitler believed that capturing Stalingrad would deliver a decisive blow to the Soviet ability to sustain itself. The Battle of Stalingrad commenced on July 17, 1942, during World War II. The German offensive towards Stalingrad, known as Operation Blue, Fall Blau, was part of the broader Nazi German strategy to conquer Soviet territory and secure resources and communication lines on the Eastern Front. After successes in the early stages of the Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union, Hitler ordered an offensive towards the south with the aim of capturing key cities and resource-rich areas. This included an advance towards Stalingrad, which the Nazis deemed a vital strategic objective. German forces crossed the Don River and moved towards Stalingrad. Their goal was to swiftly capture the city and establish a secure corridor for further advancement. The Soviet Red Army strongly resisted the German advance. Soviet forces constructed sturdy defensive positions and offered fierce resistance along the route to Stalingrad. German forces gradually advanced through the suburbs of Stalingrad and crossed the Volga River. However, the urban environment slowed down their offensive. Soon after German forces occupied much of the city, Soviet troops retreated to tenacious positions within the city. This marked the beginning of extensive street fighting. Soviet forces fought bravely and desperately, utilizing underground tunnels and building ruins as their defensive positions. The siege and street battles in the Battle of Stalingrad constituted crucial phases that unfolded during the summer and fall of 1942. This phase was exceptionally grueling and deadly, featuring intense combat in narrow streets, buildings, and factories. Soviet forces withdrew to the central part of the city, employing ruins, underground tunnels, and other infrastructure as their defensive positions. The city was heavily damaged by German bombings, creating a labyrinth of rubble and obstacles. Street fights often devolved into hand-to-hand -hand combat, with soldiers engaging in close combat one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. These battles were exceedingly violent and brutal, involving fights at close quarters with knives and bayonets. Soviet forces used underground tunnels and passages to move between different parts of the city without being noticed. This allowed them to launch sudden attacks on German troops and retreat without major losses. German troops faced the challenge of adapting to urban warfare tactics. If you haven't already, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more historical topics. Their superiority in open fields was not as effective in the narrow streets and ruins. German troops struggled to advance inch by inch, street by street. Every advance presented new challenges and losses. Both sides lacked food, water, and medical resources. Soldiers were exposed to exhausting conditions. The intensity of combat and the horrors of street fighting had a serious psychological impact on soldiers from both sides. Constant pressure, death, and destruction contributed to immense stress and exhaustion. The siege and street battles in the Battle of Stalingrad constituted a harsh and grueling phase of warfare, resulting in heavy losses for both sides.
This phase of the battle is often described as one of the most intense and brutal conflicts in the history of warfare. German troops faced extremely cold winter conditions, and supplying the troops became extremely difficult. Soviet forces exploited this weakness and launched a counteroffensive in early December 1942. This counteroffensive led to the creation of a massive battleground stretching along the front. The winter and the reversal in the Battle of Stalingrad had a significant impact on the outcome of the battle and the overall course of World War II on the Eastern Front. The winter altered the situation on the ground and facilitated the Soviet counteroffensive. As typical of the Russian winter, temperatures significantly dropped during November and December 1942. German troops, unprepared for winter conditions, faced extreme cold, snow, and ice. German forces were already dealing with a shortage of food, ammunition, and fuel during the siege of Stalingrad. Winter conditions exacerbated these challenges, resulting in major supply issues. The winter reduced the mobility and communication capabilities of German troops. Armored vehicles had difficulty moving on frozen roads, and aviation was limited. The Soviet Red Army capitalized on German weaknesses during the winter and launched a counteroffensive in December 1942. This counteroffensive began from multiple directions, with one of the key objectives being to break through the German encircling forces and establish communication with the besieged Soviet forces within Stalingrad. The Soviet counteroffensive succeeded in its intent and resulted in the creation of a massive pocket within which were the German troops besieging Stalingrad. German forces were completely surrounded. German troops within the encircled pocket were entirely isolated from the rest of the German forces. Their situation became desperate, with shortages of food, ammunition, and medical supplies. Soviet forces continued their advance and liberated territory around Stalingrad. Weakened German troops couldn't effectively resist the Soviet counteroffensive. The Soviet counteroffensive succeeded in encircling German troops in Stalingrad, forming a massive pocket that included around 300,000 German soldiers. After fierce fighting, German forces surrendered in January 1943. The end of the Battle of Stalingrad and its long-term effects had a major impact on the outcome of World War II. The battle concluded on February 2, 1943, when German General Friedrich Paulus and his forces surrendered to the Soviet Red Army. The defeat of Germany in the Battle of Stalingrad marked the first significant loss for Nazi Germany on the Eastern Front and a turning point in favor of the Soviet Union. This marked the beginning of a gradual retreat of German forces on the Eastern Front. The victory of the Soviet Union in the Battle of Stalingrad provided allies and the Soviet people with the belief that Nazi aggression could be stopped. It bolstered greater resistance against Germany and instilled hope in the possibility of victory. A considerable number of German troops were lost in the Battle of Stalingrad, and many of the remaining forces were weakened. This diminished Germany's ability to launch further offensives. The victory in Stalingrad served as the foundation for subsequent Soviet offensives westward. The Soviet Red Army gradually liberated territory and pressed German forces backward. Stalingrad became a symbol of Soviet resistance and the fight against Nazi aggression. This battle demonstrated the strength of will and resilience of the Soviet people. The victory of the Soviet Union in the Battle of Stalingrad shifted the balance of power on the Eastern Front and set the stage for further Allied offensives on other fronts. The Battle of Stalingrad is considered one of the bloodiest and most intense battles in history and had a tremendous impact on the outcome of World War II. Estimates of casualties vary, but the total number of casualties, including military and civilians, was extremely high. Soviet losses in this battle, including civilians, are estimated to range from 1.1 to 1.3 million people. German losses, including Axis forces, were also significant, with estimates ranging from around 800,000 to a million people. Stalingrad was completely devastated and remained a symbol of courage and resistance against Nazi aggression. The Battle of Stalingrad is often regarded as a turning point in World War II. Germany's defeat in this battle marked the first significant setback and retreat of German forces on the Eastern Front. It spurred the Allied forces and gave strength to the Soviet Red Army to continue advancing towards Germany.
Thank you for watching this video about the Battle of Stalingrad. We hope that this video has given you a deeper insight into this historical event and its consequences.